Welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine and I'm so happy to have you here. I get to do a review slash tutorial video on these wonderful molds that Denise from LaCranche Creations sent me. Uh, I was so happy when I got these in the mail. I have been dying to try these. Um, not just uh, to try them out to have beautiful molds around my house, but also to possibly incorporate some of these crystal molds into my artwork, into my geode pieces. Uh, so I am going to be using a bunch of products by uh, Just For You Online UK, of course, uh, which you can find in my store, www.dryerdaysartstudio.com, and a couple other pigments that I will get into when I get to those. I am going to use Pro Marine Resin today, which you can find in the description. You can always find all the tools, products, uh, everything I'm using you can find in all of the video descriptions of every video I make and there will be links provided to where you can find all these products but I really hope you guys enjoy this video I had so much fun working with these molds and I can't wait to uh, show you how they all turned out in the small gem mold here I am using rose quartz rebel glitter I did post a little short clip of this one on my Instagram and um, it just turned out beautifully the sparkle is just gorgeous in this gem over to the right there you can see I added a little bit of that leftover resin to my cabochon mold and I will use that later for either a project or just to have on hand uh, but that is the cabochon mold that I pour sort of all my little leftover resin into. You can also find that in my Amazon store. It's a six point long crystal cluster silicone mold. I decided to use a teeny bit of my silver pigment from Just For You Online UK with some clear resin. I wanted um, a really nice dreamy look to this six point uh, long cluster. I thought about doing it just clear but then decided to add a little bit of something to it and I really like how it turned out and pouring the little extra into my heart molds and I did actually turn those larger heart molds with this silver pigment resin into some really cute little magnets. All of these molds are very very good quality. I have to say I think this one is my favorite. This is the extra large crystal cluster silicone mold and I am using baby pink just for you online UK pigment along with some iridescent white glitter. I didn't think I was going to be an iridescent glitter fan but that glitter is becoming one of my favorites. With your pinks, with your blues, and even with your greens that iridescent glitter goes with it all. It's beautiful. You could use it with your grays and your blacks and your whites as well. This was my very first time using these molds and I probably could have used a little bit more resin in each mold. I was being a little timid. I didn't want to overfill them, uh, but having used them and discussing the molds with the creator and owner of LaCranche Creations, I could have domed it a little bit because the resin will shrink as it's curing. It'll tighten in that mold and so uh, you can put a little bit more in there. And I will definitely do that next time, but these still all turned out really, really well, in my opinion. Silicone mold, I am going to use some black opal rebel glitter, as well as some pewter pigment from Artisan Pigments. These molds, what I love about them is they're so unique. I and mean, I do look on Instagram a lot for these kind of molds, and I was just so impressed with these and the quality. When casting in these long points molds, you want to pour slowly in one area and let the resin kind of find its own level. 
wait about 15 minutes and go with a stick or a toothpick, something really skinny, and uh, push that gently into the points and swirl to release any bubbles. Um, even when you don't see bubbles in your resin, they are still there and really small, um, and they get bigger as they gather. I ran into this a little bit in one of these points. I didn't quite get all the air out, and there's a little pocket at the tip of one of the points. Now that I know the depth of the mold a little bit better, I'll be able to get that out the next time. Uh, and just be careful when you're using any kind of stick or a pointed object as it can scratch uh, the mold and then you'll have a mark on your mold always. It will never go away. So just be careful when doing that. You can already see now my bubbles uh, kind of rising here. While I'm giving that mold a couple minutes, I am using my pink fine holographic glitter. This is one of my favorite colors too. And I'm pouring it in this mini facet ball. This thing is so adorable. It's so cute. There's another size for this facet ball as well, but this is the small one. For the small amethyst point crystal silicone mold, I decided to use my amethyst rebel glitter. This is my second favorite mold, and I think this one would also look really cool in a geode art piece uh, to give it some of that rocky texture. A couple of things about uh, your molds as well. You really, you do not want to use any rubbing alcohol on your molds to clean them. You only need to use soapy water and then let it air dry. In addition to these molds, there are many, many more over on the website, uh, and she's always coming out with new designs and different shapes, so I highly recommend that you check out her website. I will have links to all of her information, all of her social media, everywhere that you can find her on Instagram, Facebook, uh, even YouTube as well. So all of that will be in the description if you are interested in any of these products. You can also leave a comment with any questions as well, uh, and she and I will answer them as soon as we can. All of these molds are made in a pressure pot and there are no bubbles in the silicone. All of the molds are made custom order and uh, it can take up to two weeks to get them, but usually not quite that long. Uh, she does use a platinum silicone with a shelf life of 35 plus years. Uh, she does have some information about using mold release. I don't personally use mold release, but I will give you some information here. Uh, she uses mold release 205 by Smoothon um, and she recommends you only use this uh, for molds that are rough surfaces, not shiny. And now I will return to both of the point molds and use a little toothpick to get in and release any bubbles and try to break any up. fun and satisfying part is the demolding. This one wasn't too long and deep in there so I am using my thumbs and the sides of my palms to gently pull away and down to loosen the mold around the resin and this is at about 20 to 22 hours.
and it comes out perfectly. Look at how perfect this thing is. I love it. I'm going to set it in my studio right on the windowsill so I can look at it every time I'm working. I love this. This is my favorite one. Look at what that iridescent glitter in there and that baby pink pigment. I am obsessed with this. And this would look so gorgeous too and just clear on uh, your artwork, your resin geodes. It would be gorgeous, completely gorgeous. And the gem came out perfectly and really easily as well. Denise did mention to me after that um, I could have put a little bit more resin in here and domed what is the bottom part of this. This is the tiny facet ball. This one was a little bit harder to get out just because the hole was so small, uh, but it does come out nicely and it is a cute little, little ball with a lot of shimmer, a lot of shine. Hold. I will use that technique of using my thumbs to gently pull the mold from the sides of the resin. Look at how pretty that is, the sparkle, the amethyst rebel glitter, it is just gorgeous. I can't wait to use this in a piece. This is the small points that I use that black opal glitter with, as well as a little bit of the pewter mica pigment from Artisan Pigments. Now this mold is deeper because they're longer points, so I am working it a little bit more than I was the other ones. It's, it's sort of like being forceful yet gentle, because you of course want to keep your mold intact, but you have to loosen it enough that you can pull these molds right out. And they do, they come. These have been really easy for me. This is really cute and unique and I would see this also working really well in just clear resin for your art pieces, your geodes. A little more narrow and very deep. I'm loosening what I can with my thumbs. Then once it's nice and loose in the mold, I will use this butter knife to gently pull up as you can see, it's it's kind of prying it, pulling it right out. So cool, look at how cool. And that is with just the clear resin and a little bit of that silver pigment from Just For You Online UK. I'm really happy with all of these molds. I hope you all can go check out La Cranch Creations. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Come check me out over on Instagram at Dryer Days. I also have a Facebook group, Dryer Days Art Studio Fluid and Resin Art Group. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring. <laughs>